You know, if he were to offer me his business, I would probably think about saying yes. I mean, I know I'm young and everything, but I did do so well in school, and when have I ever let him down? Finishing high school has kind of got me in a rut. I'm not as certain as I was about going to school, mostly because of the loans, and I don't really want to force myself to talk to people for four years. Allison, you're taking a party with Angela. It's 10 people, and they're celebrating a birthday. Dad, you know, I don't like splitting parties. Also, Angelo is new, and he's probably going to mess up, and we're not going to get a good tip, so no thanks. I know you feel as though you can do everything better yourself, but you need to learn how to work with people and communicate with them, sweetheart. You won't be able to get very far in life without it. Angelo, go get their drink orders. I'm going to start bringing out bread. Uh, okay, yes ma'am. That didn't go over well. Okay, so I got a little carried away. Angelo was trying so hard and I just wanted to get the job done and may have spilled something on him in the process. It would have taken so much time to explain things to him. Stuff happens. I realize I could do better. I don't want to disappoint my dad anymore. I love Alice. I really do. She's my daughter. Man, I don't know where she gets that intensity from. Aside from spilling tea on Angelo, she served the party perfectly. She got the job done. But as much as my guests, but as much as my guests and their experiences matter to me, so do my employees and so does a good working environment. Even David, our regular, whose birthday was being celebrated, noticed that Angelo has been talked down to and Allison wasn't showing much patience or guiding him. Maybe Allison still has some growing up to do.